Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, we are getting our master walk-in closet remodeled. Currently our closet is just your standard wire mesh type closet. I very much dislike the wire closet. So we are upgrading our closet and we have decided to go with the Closet Mate Style Plus uh, closet design for our closet and that is from Home Depot is where we found all the shelving and drawers and everything. We have put these closets in the past in our old home. If you are new to my channel, we just moved from Minnesota to Colorado in a brand new house and so we're getting settled, getting things updated and finished here in our house and of course, our closet is a priority. So we've already went to Home Depot, we picked up all our materials and so they are here already. So let's head to our closet and I will show you the current status of our master closet. Before we enter, do not judge because it is a mess. It's a disaster and I'm warning you about it. Here is our master closet. Yep, I warned you. It's a complete mess. So one thing I love about this closet it's huge. It is the biggest closet I have ever had in my life. My walk-in closet in my last home in Minnesota was like a third of the size of this closet. So I basically fell in love when I saw this closet. And I love that there is a window in my closet. All about the natural light. So our plan for our closet is we are going to be doing a tower here with four drawers and some doors. And then we'll have another tower here with four drawers. And then turn to this side, we'll have another tower in the middle. So that's kind of our plan. It's gonna be a super fun project. <laughs> One of those projects that is worth it once it's done. <laughs> Junk. Adios. Junk. Ugly wire shelving. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The holes I get to fill and repaint. So lovely, that wire racking. Thankfully, our builder has some leftover paint in our basement, so I don't have to go buy the paint. I have some. So the shelvings come in these kits, um, and so what this box includes are these sides the interior shelves and then there are some poles um, however we're going to be putting drawers in so it looks more like this with the drawers and then we also have some doors so those are separate those are not included in like the main kit to build these towers and there's two different sizes we went with the wider size so from this photo I don't know if you could tell this is the wider size which is what we're using and then there are kits that are more narrow too so you just kind of have to go with whatever your size of your closet is. All right, box is open. Here is all the materials in the tower kit. And pretty easy. Literally just put it together. But as I mentioned, we're doing some drawers, which are right there. along really really good um the instructions are super easy to follow so it's very easy thus far and now we're going to start connecting it all in to the tower now that we got all the bolts and nuts and everything where they need to be the two towers are built now we're putting on these back supports Here's what the drawers look like. So I'm gonna open up a box. I wanna get a drawer out to see how this is gonna fit in here. Cause it looks like we might start the drawers up maybe. I'm not sure, cause right there are shelves. So we're gonna see what we can do here with these drawers before we do any more. Here is the first drawer. We just got it together. Looks good. So one thing I'm not doing, so it came with these handles for that. I don't like these. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna order some different ones off Amazon. Vince is working on getting the rest of the uh, drawer slides here up Yay. on the bottom portion of the cabinet. So just so you are aware, um, it looks like you can fit three cabinets here and then one on the bottom. However, I don't think we're gonna put one on the bottom. We're gonna leave that open for shoes because it'll just be easier to open the drawer too. All right, and the test. Does the first drawer fit? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yours. Oh yeah. Nice. Soft closed drawer slides too. Nice. Looks good. All right, so now that we figured out the drawers, just to make sure everything was working before we got any farther, now we can take the drawer back out and actually go assemble it in the corner. <laughs> We got the top on and he's gonna get that secured and while he's doing that I found these shaker doors which were at Lowe's they didn't have any at Home Depot so it's actually a different brand it's not the style plus it's the bright wood so I'm gonna pop this open and hope that this will match you know the drawers because I don't want it to not match um, and then we can put the doors up on that section they match yay so that's interesting. So this is the Brightwood style from Lowe's and the rest of this is the Style Plus from Home Depot and they are identical. <laughs> they probably have to have like their own style for each store I'm sh assuming, but they're the same. Kind of like when you go back to that vlog that I was talking about our first grocery haul here in Colorado, how we found the same things in Colorado and Minnesota, but just a different name, the same packaging. Run. There it is, you guys. We got the doors on. So, one thing I noticed, so for all of you, the doors, like I said, I got those at Lowe's and they're called Brightwood. The rest of this is from Home Depot, Style Plus. Identical, right? However, the doors are slightly wider. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Just like honestly a tad bit difference in color. Like just a itty bit whiter than the rest. But you can barely notice. Like if I didn't tell you, you probably would have never noticed. <laughs> just a heads up and that's why I don't plan on mixing and matching this too much. But we just needed those doors and Lowe's had them so we grabbed them. Home Depot did not. But now we got them. Alright, we're putting the rest of the drawers together to fill the space. And yeah, someone's hungry. <laughs> Anyways, I, as he's putting the drawer together, I was on Amazon and I ordered my drawer pulls. And you guys, <laughs> you guys, I don't understand. So the pulls I ordered are a 15 pack for $20. They have the same ones at Home Depot and Lowe's, and they're six dollars each. Huh? How do they do that? Why? Why is it so expensive for one drawer pull? I don't understand. The last drawer. Is it? And it's Ozzy! Ozzy! Look at your closet. Well, it's my closet. But uh, I suppose you can hang in there. Nice. Woo! So now that this one is done, we're gonna put one more here in the center. So that's next. Center one more. And then we'll have you know, the poles going across here. Two of them are done. Now we're putting in one rod on this side for my dresses. And over here, we'll have two rods. So we got this one over here done. And now we're connecting here to the drywall. However, we need extra support over here. So we're putting in these white supports because there isn't a stud that will match so that this bar is straight here. So we're putting in these white uh, pieces of wood to add as extra support to connect the rod to this. Cause once you hang clothes on there, it's gonna be really heavy and you definitely want this into a stud so it's secure. So that's our support beam. And as you see, we have two screws in each side and these are both in studs now so that it can hold that rod. And they're sunk in so I can fill this and then I'm gonna paint it white and you won't even know that there was any screws there. As we just had our first, oopsie, those bars. <laughs> so we did everything right and I was going by the photos on the box and I should have just did it myself and really did the measurement and tried to see what it was gonna look like once clothes are hanged up there. So let me show you what just took place after I put a piece of clothing up there. So when you walk in, you know, you don't want your clothes sticking out super far, right? Well, <clears throat> according to the box, it looked like it was like a half inch from the edge. So that's what we did. However, our clothes were like out this far. That's way too far. 
Like, look at all the room to the wall. We want your clothes in. So we went in about three and a half inches from here to here. And now when you put a piece of clothes, ta-da! <laughs> so, yeah, we had to redo these. Um, I will have to do some paint touch up on here so you don't see that. Um, but always make sure to measure yourself. Don't always go by the photos. <laughs> Lesson learned from us. We got this side done. Woohoo! And then tomorrow we get to tackle this side. Fun, fun. <laughs> it's the next day. We got all the wire shelving down, and now we can start more shelving units and drawers and all that good stuff. There it is. Done! All right, now I get to paint, fill holes, and get new lights because you're in here. It's gonna be pretty! All right, you guys. The closet is done! Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. Now let me remind you what it used to look like before we enter and I will show you the final reveal. It was awful, right? Yeah. Let's go check out my new closet. <laughs> and here it is. Oh my gosh. This is my dream closet, I guess. I mean, I can't imagine having a bigger closet than this because I won't have enough clothes to fill it and I don't know, it's just perfect. So I'm so, so, so happy how everything turned out. So I'm gonna show you just a few items we added to our closet just to make it perfect for us. So as I mentioned, I bought all these brand new door handles because I did not like the ones that Closet Mate had. So we bought these all off Amazon. They were the cheapest option than purchasing them at a store because it's outrageous prices for door handles at stores. And then I also got myself a brand new jewelry box. So this is such a cutie. I got this on Amazon as well. It has so much storage and you can even open the sides and there's more necklace storages. So if you're looking for a brand new jewelry box, I highly recommend this. Overall, these drawers are amazing. Um, they're soft closed drawers, so I'm very happy how they turned out. They are so, so nice. And same with the doors. It's just perfect. So much storage in these guys. I'm really happy we ended up putting the doors on all these upper portions. Like I mentioned, I did find the doors at Lowe's, which is the Brightwood, not the Style Plus. It just makes it look so much cleaner in here than having the doors open and then like all your stuff inside showing. And then down on the bottom, instead of putting a shelf up here, I put the shelf down here to act as extra shoe storage, which is perfect for little flats, tennis shoes. And then this is like my husband's side of the closet. We did put a drawer down here. However, I will tell you, it is hard to open these drawers on the bottom. And I'm sure it has to do with the carpet. However, we just put items down in that drawer where we're not gonna be using a lot. So I know that we have like a lot of our pink clothes down there, so it doesn't really matter to us. We're not gonna be using that drawer a lot. Then we did add these nice hooks in our closet just to hang extra items. Like I always have my robe handy. We just had a piece of spare wood here. We put all the hooks on there so we can nail this into a stud and it worked out really well. And then of course, every closet needs a large mirror. <laughs> so we got this mirror at a store called At Home. Um, I've never shopped at one of those stores before, but I was looking for a large mirror. I looked at Target. I looked at Walmart. Nothing that I loved. So I saw this store on the map, and I'm like, let's go check it out. And to my surprise, they had this beautiful mirror. So love how that worked out in our closet. Perfect little spot right here. This beautiful chandelier, because every girl needs a pretty chandelier, right? <laughs> I figured the closet is the most appropriate spot for that is from Home Depot. So that was a nice upgrade. It's super bright too, so it, it's really nice. It lights up very well in the closet here. And then we got one more is this beautiful tuft ottoman. This was also an Amazon find and I absolutely love it. It's like a velvet feeling ottoman and it's just kind of perfect for when you're getting dressed in your closet you can kind of like throw clothes or sit down and put your shoes on so just a kind of like a seating area and then also there's lots of storage in here 
as well. So we have some throw pillows. I will leave the links in the description to all the items I just mentioned. Um, I don't know if I can get links to like the at home mirror thing, but I know I can definitely get you links to like the Amazon and then I'll look and see if I can find the chandelier too. But I am absolutely thrilled how everything turned out and the closet made style plus closet system is super easy you guys. So if you have some patience, take a weekend, throw together a beautiful closet because it's beautiful <laughs> and you can customize it however you want so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions of course let me know down in the comments and if you're interested in seeing more room remodels stay tuned we got a bedroom remodel coming up our kitchen so lots of good stuff coming up so be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up for future vlogs we'll see you guys in the next vlog bye